<laughs> so welcome back fellow problem solvers. I really enjoy our time together. So thank you for joining me again. Remember to share, like and subscribe so others can also have this opportunity um, to enjoy maths. So yes, decimal fractions for the last time. And this is not a square peg in a round hole. This is squares, cubes, square roots and cube roots with decimal fractions. Stay tuned and enjoy. Today we're talking about squares, cubes, square roots and cube roots of decimal fractions. I know that's a mouthful. Well, it really is. But once we get going, you will see we can solve these by using the principles we've already practiced. So 0 0.05 squared is 0 0.05 times 0 0.05. Now, in order to change this, these numbers to whole numbers, we can multiply 0 0.05 with 100 to move this comma two decimal places to the right, and another 100 to move this comma two decimal places to the right. Now, remember, we can't just multiply the numerator without writing down the denominator as well, because we can only multiply with one so that the value stays the same. This then means that this expression will become 5 times 5, because 0 0.05 times 100 is 5, and 0 0.05 times 100 is 5, and 0 5 over times 5 over 100 times 100, which gives us 10,000 which will give us an answer of 25. But remember now, the decimal places needs to be in order. And we can say it's 25 over 10,000. So we need to move our comma 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the left. Let me illustrate that. From here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So our final answer will be, 0, 0,0025. Let's look at number 2. Now this is 0 0.1 cube. So we're going to follow the same principle. It's 0, 0,1 times 0, 0,1 times 0, 0,1. What do we need to multiply 0 0.1 with to make it a whole number? Just by 10. And we have to do that 3 times. So it's times 10 times 10 times 10 and same principle we can't just multiply the numerator we have to multiply the denominator as well so we're going to have a 10 times 10 times 10 right there at the bottom so the numerator will become become 1 times 1 times 1 which is 1 divided by 1000 which will give us a final answer of 0, 0.001 why? Because the comma had to move 1, 2, 3 decimal places to the left in order to get our final answer. Okay, so hopefully that will help you a lot. Now let's look at square roots. Now square roots, we are going to use the strategy of first of all writing down the decimal fraction in terms of a normal common fraction. So it will look like this. 0 0.16 is equal to 16 divided by 100. Why? Because the comma had to move two decimal places to the right. Now, what is the square root of 16? Because this is how it will look like. Square root of 16 over square root of 100. Now, what is the square root of 16? It's equal to 4. What's the square root of 100? It's equal to 10. So our final answer in decimal format is 0, 4. And now the final one, cube root. Same strategy will be um, applied. We've got our cube root. And over here it's 8 divided by 1, 2, 3, 0. So that is 1,000. And we know that's then the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 1,000, which will make this 2 over 10. If we simplify that and write it as a decimal fraction, this is 0, 0,2. There we go. I hope you feel empowered to do these types of questions. All the best. Enjoy.